Try moving again. See how fast I drop you. Damn! Get that fast! Ah! I got eyes on you, dang it. Any more trouble and you're out. How can one crook raise so much hell? All right, I guess, here. Howdy, mister. Uh, hey there, partner. Hey, mister. Hello. Howdy. Hey there, partner. Hi. Ah, don't touch me. Hello, mister. Hello, sir.
so bad. They were deleted. Hey, partner. Hey there, mister. Hey, friend. Hello. ¿Por dónde vas? ¿En serio? Hello, for show, I presume. I need a ticket, please. Make your way through the doors on either side of me. tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for 60, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends, the turtle said. If Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told.
Hope it was a good one. See you soon. I'm only kidding around. Look out! Anything. Please. You. Yes. Please. Coin. Please. Please. Won't you lend a coin to a fella in need? Go get yourself something to eat. I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking you for money like a goddamn worm. Problem here in the church. get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. You won't hear a peep out of me, I swear. It's time to be safe. You, one of you, please take a pamphlet. Happened before, my dear. Morning, dear. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is, not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. truth and rejoice for you are saved and already in paradise if only you had the wisdom to understand it
this 100 years ago. our great religion and understand the importance of safety in nature. There's your name. Hornady. Do you want to be safe? Take that off. Getting robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. Please. Now, oh, damn it. Get a move on. Handle you surrender now. You got and I'll me a slow <laughs> 